first came across the Kieran Pole Rams uh, six or seven years ago. At, uh, he had a stand at the Dubbo National uh, Ram Show and Sale. Uh, I was very impressed with their, the, the growth and the style of Ram. It was the, uh, the, the wool was a style that I was after, deep, crimping, bright, long, staple wool. Uh, and we, over the last five years, I've just been gradually uh, Introducing the Kieran Pole Rams into our, our flock, we join anywhere from uh, around the 3,500 ewes to the Merino Rams. Um, the last drop of lambs was, is the first drop of pure Kieran Pole Ram bred lambs, uh, and I've been very happy with their, their growth rates. Uh, been able to turn the weathers off well under the, the 12 months, which normally it usually took us. So the growth rates have been there. Very happy with the uh, the style of wool that we're we're producing a long, uh, long white staple. To the extent that possibly we're going to have to now go to a uh, an eight monthly shearing uh, because the staple length has increased a bit, uh, and we, we may look in the future getting penalised for over length for 12 monthly shearing. But we're still working on the fertility um, out in the Canamble area. Uh, our fertility was a problem, so um, Kieran Pole does pride itself on the fertility of its sheep. So we've, we've been. Um, Increasing slowly uh, with the fertility, we've still got a little way, little way to go, and, and a lot of that I think has, you know, around our management but, um, uh, to increase that. But yeah, very happy with the results so far. Yeah, the lineup today, very impressive actually. Um, it, it's rare for a, a rare to come to a sale where you can tick so many rams that actually suit you, and and be able to be confident enough to to buy rams from the from the first lot to the very last lot. Been on Nigel's sheep since he started his own sale, which is about six years ago, I guess. Um, what have we noticed? Our lamb percentage has steadily gone up over the years. Uh, three years ago, we were we got 140 percent. Last year. I mean, the year before that was about 138. And, yeah, basically, it's most time. Uh, wool cut, um, yeah, it's probably gone up half a kilo. Um, the thing that we like about them is they're easy care type sheep. And, um, yeah, they join up well and not, not a real lot of fly problem or anything else. It's sort of, yeah, we're pleased with them. Yeah, I look like this is certainly what we want and the credit lies are like he's got them all looking very, very similar. Um, yeah, I think they're a line of sheep. You could probably have picked up most of these rams and took them home in matter what ones and you certainly wouldn't go wrong with them. Yes, they're certainly quicker growing animals um, and I can see that over the last three years since we're sort of focusing a lot more on the um, on the figures that, given the right conditions, they certainly will, they are sort of improving that size, there's no doubt about it. Still a lot of room, but I think we're on the right track. Dad's got a good uh, wool background. Uh, the fleece weight's getting a bit lighter, and we're just looking at the climate change the last couple of years, just turning off sheep earlier, and we've uh, coming up here to get the early growth, the opportunity to turn weathers off earlier and uh, start joining new lambs to get up to weight in the same year. And uh, we bought three rams here last year. We've got some lambs on the ground from them now. Uh, uh, the weights are just the best looking weathers we've had on our property for a very long time. Uh, the lineup's pretty, pretty, pretty even. If it wasn't for the figures, it'd, it'd, um, it'd make it a bit, in, a bit hard. So I go pretty harsh on the figures of what I'm chasing with the growth and the fleece weight which tells a fair few out and then Dad's got the experience with the body and the wool and that tells another third out and then you're uh, pretty harsh culling I must say though, <laughs> it takes a bit of effort and then we're uh, yeah, down to it and it's just a matter of which ones you can get in your budget. So. One bloke said to me once, I can't remember who it was, he said when you walk into a shed of rams and they all look pretty even, that's pretty much what the uh, rams are going to throw like if you walk into a shed of rams and there's 14 different types in there. Whether you pick the best one, he's probably going to throw like those 14 different types. So, you see any of his spread of sheet and plus the ones coming out the front, you know you're pretty much on the right path. So. 2015, the sale's over, and we've had another good result. We put 250 up, sold the 250 at auction for an 1852 average, which I was very happy about because it was back a bit on our 
was back a bit on our average last year, but uh, buyers that come here that have big orders that allowed them to um, fill their orders and get their averages right at the end of the sale, which was a good result for them and a very good result for us. Um, feedback from people that have been coming here for years and also feedback from the people that are here for the first time today was that put 250 rams up with the consistency that we've got um, gives them a lot of faith in what's actually happening for the older clients, what is happening back on their farm, as well as the new clients. They see the consistency in the sale lineup. As I say to them when we drive around the paddock, if you don't like the U-Base, you won't like out like the Rams. So we always look at the U-Base first before I show them the Rams. And um, we've got a lot of U's here on display today. And everyone commented on how um, just how big and square they are, good dense wools on them, and wools that will cut kilos, the fleeces that will cut kilos of wool. Um, I was pretty, pretty stoked in the lineup we put up today, but what I'm really, really excited about is what we've done in the creation of next year's uh, on property sale team, which, uh, which we've got some May drops now, which we've had on display today, and everyone's commented on the, the growth that's in them, the length, the body, and the width, and also the um, the amount of density that's on them on a plain body, and. In next year's sale team, there's pretty much only five sires, and those five sires were on display here today, and everyone just commented on they're probably the best five pole sires they've seen put together as a group to create all next year's sale team. So the growth, you can just see how much different the lambs are this year in our May drops to any other drop of May drops that we've had and it's just their speed of growth and that's what this industry is really lacking is those fast maturing merinos with exceptionally high fleece weights and that's what we specialise in, that and fertility. So to all the clients, thank you very much. Thanks for making 2015 another successful year and see you all next year. Thank you.